the former Labour leader of Tower Hamlets, Lutfur Rahman, who received a five-year ban for fraud and corruption, is back and has been re-elected as a mayor of Tower Hamlets. And you wonder why some people think, a lot of people think, that not just the electoral system, but the judiciary in this country is a bit of a joke sometimes in certain areas. Tower Hamlets. We've been talking about Tower Hamlets for the past, what, how long has it been now? Ten years. In, in, when it comes to British media and British politics, it's a very, very corrupt area. And uh, elections held, uh, I'm saying, dominated by uh, certain communities that we can't say, apparently. Yes, you got the... The, the, initially the Labour and then you got the independents, um, essentially cliques and gangs of Middle Easterns, Pakistanis and many others who work together, co corruption, and they do fraud, and they win elections, and the police go there every election. This guy was found guilty, convicted, banned for five years. Now five years is up, he's back, and now he's been re-elected. I mean... <sighs> Okay, I don't, I don't understand what's going on because I, I'm fully in favor of you, you do your conviction, you do your sentence and you, get, you do rehab and you're fine. But you, you should not be allowed to come back and have access to the crime scene. It, it, it makes absolutely no sense. So this is the same guy who tried his best, even in 2016, to do an appeal on his uh, banning order and even then... The courts were like, nah, 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 it's, it's not a good idea. Somehow, he got away with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's fine to, to have some sort of five-year ban, right? Because after five years, he's going to be a good guy. By the way, bans are different to prison sentence. The actual ban, you know, if you're a criminal for public office, should be life. Lifetime ban. If you actually go against the system, you should, again, I'm going to give you a list of all the the crimes, but this is this is Mr. Rahman hanging out with his bestie, former bestie, David Miliband, who almost became Labour leader. Then he abandoned the Labour Party, he was hanging out with Ken Livingston. Then after Ken Livingston, he was hanging out with the, the independent Pakistanis in uh, East London. And it continued. Everything continued. And it's not just him. So many of them who have not been caught and they're still running around and controlling our local areas in the so-called United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. No, the whole thing is completely ridiculous. The Guardian, even the Guardian at the time, uh, defended him. They, they, they published a piece saying a smear campaign against Mr. Rahman is an insult to democracy. It, his existence is an insult to British democracy. Because you're making fun of not just, again, as I said, not just the electoral system, but also the justice system. What's the point? of having a justice system when, when justice is not going to be served. Look at this one. So this is, in case you don't know, you're not familiar with the case, this is the list of uh, what was initially the allegations against him and everything else he went through. Voting fraud. Ballots were double cast or cast from false addresses. <coughs> Joe Biden. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's allegedly. <laughs> false statements made against his rival, Mr. Biggs. Bribery. Large amounts of money were given to organizations. Yep, of course. And uh, providing free food and drinks to encourage people to vote. As, and a spiritual influence. Voters were told that it was their duty as Muslims to vote for Mr. Rahman. I mean, seriously? <laughs> this is London, England, the United Kingdom. What, why? Why do we have this culture? Why do we allow this culture to continue to corrupt um, well, spread corruption inside our society. I mean, is it just me who's being frustrated right now? Is it, for the love of God, leave me a comment. Like, let me know if I'm being unreasonable. Because <laughs> if we don't protect our values, and when we do, when we catch them out, why do we allow them to come back? It makes absolutely no sense. You know, fine, you don't have to do lifetime kind of a sentence in prison, but if you're going to come out or if you're banned, go get a different job. Don't do the same thing that you did because giving access to a, to a bank vault um, to someone who actually did robbery in the past, that's just ridiculous. And that's what we're doing right now. So, okay, I'm going to go chill. <laughs> going to go take a break. I'm going to come back. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.